hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x minus 1 over 2 whole square is equals to 16 and we solve this problem for the values of x so first we write first we find all the roots of this equation and the last we will check that which of the roots are solution or which of the roots are extraneous root of this equation uh, further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section now we move towards our first method and in first method here we need to take a square root on both of the sides or in other uh, words uh, so when you will take square root it will be written as square root of x minus 1 over 2 whole square is equals to square root of 16 and now you see here this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here x minus 1 over 2 is equals to square root of 16 becomes 4 and uh, we know about that uh, when we apply square root on both of the sides we will write here plus minus sign of any one of the sides so uh, further in the next step uh, we first uh, move this 2 to the right hand side you see here it is divided by left hand side when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by plus minus 4 so this 2 times of 4 becomes here 8 and in the next step we need to uh, divide this into the two cases here in the first case we write the uh, right hand side is positive in the second case we write the right hand side is negative from here we easily get the value of x is equals to 8 plus 1 and we easily get the value of x is equals to 9. So this is the first root of the given equation and from here we again move this minus 1 to the right hand side and it will become plus 1 and here we get the value of x is equals to minus 7. So from first case or first method we easily get uh, these two roots of the given equation and now here further we move towards our second method and now here first in second method we find uh, the roots uh, of this equation by second method and at the last i can just check that which of the roots are solution or which of the roots are extraneous roots okay so for second method we again copy down given question statement here it is x minus 1 over 2 whole square equals to 16 and uh, in second method uh, we need uh, to uh, break the square of uh, this term so we apply this square on numerator as well as denominator after breaking this square it will be written as x minus 1 whole square divided by 2 square is equals to 16 and further in the next step we move this 2 square to the right hand side it will be written as x minus 1 whole square is equals to this is 16 we write this 16 as 4 square is multiplied by this 2 square and now here further in the next step we need to combine the square of these two terms and it will be written as x minus 1 whole square equals to 4 multiplied by 2 whole square and in the next step we have this is x minus 1 whole square is equals to this is 4 times of 2 becomes 8 square and now we move this 8 square in the left hand side and it will be written as x minus 1 whole square minus 8 square is equals to 0 and also you see here uh, we apply the nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so uh, according to uh, this algebraic formula you see here uh, the base of this term is called our a and the base of this term is our b and now according to this algebraic formula uh, uh, so we expand our uh, uh, equation into according to this formula and it will be written as our first factor is a minus b the value of a is x minus 1 minus the value of b is 8 into again we have a plus b the value of a is x minus 1 plus the value of b is 8 
and this whole equation is equals to zero. So here we need a little bit simplifications here and it will be written as x minus this is minus 1 minus 8 becomes minus 9 into here we have minus 1 plus 8 becomes 7 and this whole equation is equals to 0. And now here further in the next step we need to break this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write x minus 9 is equals to 0 and the second case is we write x plus 7 is equals to 0. So from first case we get the value of x is equals to plus 9 and from second case we get the value of x is equals to minus 7. So from both of these cases or from both of these two methods we will get here the same root of the given equation. And now here further in the next step we need to verify these two roots or we separate the solution or extraneous roots. For this we need to copy down given question statement here. The given question statement is x minus 1 over 2 16 and now here we substitute uh, above both of these two values here and we check the behavior of this equation so uh, here we just write both of these values uh, and now here first we verify x is equals to 9 here for this we put x is equals to 9 into the left hand side of this equation so when you put this value here it will becomes 9 minus 1 over 2 whole square is equals to 16 and in this case we put x is equals to minus 7 here and it will becomes minus 7 minus 1 over 2 whole square is equals to 16. So here we have 9 minus 1 becomes 8 over 2 whole square is equals to 16 minus 7 minus 1 becomes minus 8 over 2 whole square is equals to 16. So that here uh, we will get these are cancelled out by each other and we get here 2 4 is 8 we get 4 square is equals to 16 and likewise here we have 2 4 is 8 and we get here minus 4 square is equals to 16. So you clearly see that this is 4 square becomes 16 is equals to 16. This shows that the value of x is equals to 9 is satisfied our given question statement. And from here you again see that minus 4 square is also equals to 16 equals to 16. And this shows that the value of x is equals to minus 7 is also satisfied our given question statement. So both of these values are solution of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.